Good morning. It's Thursday, October 6, 2022. I'm Russell, and this is Rocky Road Devotions, a few minutes of help for today's journey. Our devotion today is entitled, Guilty, Part 2, and our scripture is Psalm 32. When I refused to confess my sin, my body wasted away, and I groaned all day long. Day and night your hand of discipline was heavy on me. My strength evaporated like water in the summer heat. King David's testimony in that psalm deals with understanding the issues that we have with guilt. It's a hard but necessary medicine. We have all sorts of techniques for getting rid of guilt, but underneath, we still feel guilty. Frankly, we hardly need to have someone tell us we did wrong. We're hardwired with free will, and that's enough to help us understand the conundrum of needing forgiveness, but refusing to admit we need forgiveness. We don't feel forgiven because we aren't. When a person simply tries to get rid of the guilt for the sake of trying to feel better, trying to hide the evidence or shift the blame to somebody else, we never accomplish what we're after. A little boy was dressed by his mom in his best Sunday suit. It was white. She told him to go outside and wait by the car. She'd be out in 10 minutes and don't get dirty. (laughs) 30 seconds later, he found a bucket of dark green paint and was chasing after Buster the family beagle. Paint sloshed everywhere but he he just couldn't catch up with Buster. As Buster ran for the safety of the front porch the little guy followed in hot pursuit just as the front door swung open wide. As the now green paint covered white suit and green haired little boy screeched to a halt he looked up to see his angry mom staring down at him. Bucket in one hand, brush in the other, and Beagle cowering in the porch corner, the little guy stammered, I didn't paint Buster. Until we deal with the source of our guilt, which is sin, we can never feel forgiven, because we aren't. It's like an elephant in the room that nobody wants to acknowledge. Sin stands between us and God like a dark green paint stain on a white Sunday suit. This was Peter's agony. In the Gospel accounts, it tells us that when Jesus' trial ended, they took him from Pilate's house, and Peter was hiding in the courtyard watching from a distance. His and Jesus' eyes locked, and Peter knew he denied Christ. Scripture tells us he went out and wept bitterly. After the resurrection, it's recorded in John 21 that Jesus had a conversation with Peter that searched deep into Peter's soul. It was a simple conversation, but forced the fisherman to deal with his guilt. In King David's case, it took the prophet Samuel looking the king square in the eyes, calling him a murdering adulterer. Until David faced the truth about his own behavior and confessed his sin, He was never going to be free. For you today, when we feel guilty, we often default to using excuses for why we did what we did, none of which changes what God has said about our sin. Sin will always be dealt with, and it will always be on God's terms, never our excuses or denial. Like the so-called heroes of the Bible, King David and Peter and others that we read about in Scripture, there's never peace in our minds or hearts when we live in unforgiveness. Tomorrow, we'll wrap up where to go with our excuses, rationalizations, and denial. How guilt doesn't have to eat us alive from the inside like a dark green paint splash on a Sunday suit. You chew on that as you hit the rocky road. Have a blessed day.